I don't know. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. It's been over the years this week. I don't know what's been going on. I've been like in a rut again, and there's no excuse. But things are definitely changing. We, me and Adam had a chat, and I've managed to rejoin the gym, and I'm actually going this morning. So I'm hoping now I'll have that to get into a routine with. It's going to help. Um, and yeah, it's not been great, has it? So I'm really, really sorry that there's been no content, no excuse, just, just me being an idiot, basically. Yeah, so going to the gym today, I... I take my easier day out of my calories, so my calories are back to 1,700 a day, and yeah, so that should be fine. And that's that. I'm also thinking I might weigh at the gym, and then it'll be different to my scales. But I think I was getting a bit obsessive with the scales as well, so. With this, obviously I won't be weighing until I go to the gym each, hopefully each Monday still. And then update you when I get back. Um, I think it's definitely going to be a gain this week. Um, and that's really stupid of me to not be in control and not, not be in the mindset. But hopefully now that I have this... Um, have the gym to go to it will give me a routine to start and focus and yeah so I've been I yesterday I wrote down some meals from um, some of my cookbooks I actually got the new Pinch of Norm Enjoy cookbook in the Amazon Prime um, so the Prime Day Prime, Prime Sale or something they had or they dropped prices on things. If I wanted to get that for three pounds, so I've written, written down meals that we want to try, and um, we may need to do a little top up shop soon, just to see us through. I might suggest that to Adam just do a top up shop, and that should see us through to the end of July, slash start of August, um, to obviously. As I said, see us through until we go away. So it's three weeks now till we go to Blackpool. Uh, we have had takeaways and things like that. So we're now, I've now said, takeaway ban, no more fast food until we go to Blackpool. <laughs> but um, even now, I'm still a bit like, I think I might still be a bit conscious in Blackpool, like for like the actual meals themselves. I might try and not go always for the fast food or like the burgers and stuff like that. So I may do like one one day, but I want to enjoy it. But I also want to not go mad because I know it's a holiday, like I said, and I know I want to enjoy it because it's a family holiday and we don't do that very often. But it's really hard. But I'm back in the room now, so yeah, it's 20 past 8, so I'm going to go into the gym this morning, this morning, I'm going to be going with my friend, and um, she's going to pick me up at about quarter past 9, 20 past 9-ish, um, so yeah, and it's Louise, obviously last week of school, so okay, get, got get prepared for the summer holidays. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm really, really sorry there's been no content, it's my own fault. Um, I just thought there was no point in putting up things when I wasn't in the right mindset, I wasn't eating properly, I wasn't tracking properly. Um, I did track, obviously, for the first, start, the start, first half of the week. <laughs> but um, yeah, it went a bit downhill. But um, if we can do a top-up shop this week, I'm going to... I'm thinking of writing all the meals that we obviously that I've got written down. I've also done an inventory of the snack cupboard, 
the cupboard where I keep the tins and the packets and the cupboard where I have all the seasonings and stuff. So I'm hoping um, to run down a few of the jars and things that I've got in there. Um, but back to the meal planning, I was thinking of writing down the meals that I could do with the stuff in the cupboards and stuff that we want to try. Maybe picking out a few or maybe structuring my meals out of these, picking these meals out. So then that would help me structure the shopping. Um, so I might do that. I've got time, so I might do that now actually. Write all the meals out and um, maybe even pick out like, because these are mainly for like evening meals. So just picking out what um meals we would like for next week and do that maybe see if that works um i've got written down stuff that we've got in at the moment to have evening meals with so i will do that and then it's just keeping on track it's i'm just finding it really difficult but i think it's because i'm at home and i haven't done haven't been able to get into a routine but I'm hoping now because I've got the gym membership it will give me that focus to get back into that routine because it would be nice to lose pounds before we go away and it would also be nice to then lose some pounds before my birthday which is September and then after that it's lose some pounds for Christmas that is my little goals um because obviously we have the grand big goal we all have to lose like a big amount but i think if we stretch it to smaller goals excuse me if we decide to stretch it into smaller goals it's more achievable so i don't want to i think as well i don't want to put like I know I said last week I want to lose seven pounds by the time we go to Blackpool, but um, I think putting that extra pressure on myself doesn't help. So I'm just going to say I want to lose some weight before we go to Blackpool. Um, and if it's a big amount, great. If it's not, then at least something's come off. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to, I want to try and video bits at the gym but I'm also a bit like shy in that sense like obviously you don't obviously people don't mind but um obviously this is the first time I've been to the gym since March I wouldn't say March February March so it's gonna be excuse me it is going to be obviously quite overwhelming to start with but we're hoping it's not going to be that busy um but yeah i'm waffling on i'm just really very sorry that i haven't done videos there is going to be consistent content up for you every day until we go to blackpool obviously we, then there'll be a little break obviously whilst we're in blackpool so i'll be hopefully vlogging while we're up there um and then when i come back straight back on it um and hopefully start getting the holiday, the holiday vlogs up for you yeah it's really going monday to friday so hopefully saturday and sunday oh god hopefully saturday and sunday will um be back on it um and yeah, because hopefully we can time it to maybe do a shop the Saturday we come like the sat like the day we come like the day after we come back or something. Um, but yeah. So that is my waffle of a plan. And if you have any tips or anything you think might help me, um I know lots of you have said obviously not to have takeaways and things. It's only just I don't know why we had multiple ones, but things like this happen. Mindset hasn't been the best this week, but the line has been drawn. 
I know it's going to be a game this week. And um, I think I'm going to do a more structured meal plan for food. Um, mainly for evening meals. Breakfast and lunch um, is fine. I can do all those. Um, I'm still going to try and do intermittent fasting as well. Because I think that was working for me. Um, and yeah, so that is my plan. I'll come back to you later on with my weighing update because as I said I'm going to try and weigh at the gym now so yeah again apologies but I am now back in the room and I will speak to you later on hi guys so it's actually three past three I've been back home a little while um but I've just had a shower and just well I'm still not feeling ready but um I thought I'd kind of do a not full get ready with me because I'm not going to put anything on makeup eyes but um kind of getting kind of ready and I'll do my weighing update because I weighed at the gym and I weighed before I did exercise so people wouldn't think I'm cheating <laughs> um so this last week obviously you haven't seen my full week but it was good for the first few days and then I think it was Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday basically the weekend, it um, wasn't the best. So of the UU we were, I had an easier day planned for the Friday because me and Adam were, what we did, we went out for breakfast and we went on a lip and had a little shopping trip and treated ourselves um, and that was really nice and we had breakfast at the harvest I didn't actually track it but then after that we come home didn't really have anything for lunch because we got back at like 12 no not 12 one one half one I want to say um and we didn't have anything then we had a couple of bits that we like picked up um but nothing major and then we had a takeaway a tea um and what we had i think what did i have i think we had chinese we might have had chinese so we had that saturday um again started off okay but didn't go 100 percent to plan and I made another old school cake at Adam's request and I had like a lot, well, a good chunk of that and I can't see him blind as that without my glasses on. <laughs> um, yeah, so Saturday wasn't the greatest and yesterday um, I tried to be as best like tracking as possible but again my mind wasn't really fully 100% um so yeah but we did have a nice roast dinner yesterday and um i didn't have anything else after that and that brings us on today so just i'll turn them on so today obviously as i said this morning went to the gym i did take uh, two Alpen light bars with me to have after because obviously I hadn't had any breakfast. Um, I'm eating one of those and the other one is actually in my bag so I might actually save that for tomorrow because we might be going to the gym tomorrow morning. So I might save it again for that. Um, so yeah, went to the gym this morning. Um, that was all good. Um, so obviously that was the first gym session we had, what well, I've had in a little while um yeah i felt really good um just did like a general all over workout today so a bit of legs warmed up on the treadmill um and a little bit of arms and back um, a bit of legs and i did a little bit of the chest as well so yeah felt really really good at the gym um did uh, i've done over six thousand one hundred steps today so far so lots of steps and 
yeah, I felt really good doing back in the gym. Got a good workout in, and yeah, it's just really, really good. So weighed on the scales we have in the gym. It's the ones where they give you a little ticket. I have got the ticket actually it's in my bag. Um, where they give you a little ticket of your weight, what you should be weight wise, your BMI. Um, I didn't think I don't think I passed the thing to put in what my body fat is, but I'll do that maybe next time or something. Um, so yeah, that was that. So last week I was fifteen stone seven. And this week I am 15 stone 7, so I am very happy that I have maintained this week. Probably a bit um, lucky, I guess, but um, I'm not going to get back into that mindset. I've got the plans in place, I've got my gym working, my gym membership in place, and I'm hoping to take advantage of that leading up to going to Blackpool. Obviously, hopefully in Blackpool we'll be doing lots of walking anyway. Um, and as I said, I want to maybe have a couple of treats like donuts or something like that in Blackpool, but I don't want to go too mad. Um, so that is my plan, and I hope you'll stick around. I know this week hasn't been the best for vlogs, but this is probably going to be a long one, and I will be back to daily uploads. And um, yeah, so I've maintained this week, so still at a one and a half stone loss since January last year. Um, and I've taken the easier day out, so my daily calories are 1,700. So good calorie goal for me, I think. So yeah, overall, obviously the line's been drawn. Um, I've plot plotted in what happened to tea. Uh, me and my friend had lunch out and I actually had a jacket potato with cheese and beans. I put it in as a large jacket potato with cheese and beans and I had an oasis. They only had the normal oasis, no no sugar. So I had a, I guess you'd call it full fat oasis. Obviously the jacket potato came with salad. So I'm passing my lunch at 535 calories. And I've already plotted in what I'm having for tea feeling really good and like I said hopefully we can maybe do a little top up shop just to help us keep us on the street and now on the lead up to Blackpool so three weeks to go let's see what I can do for the rest of July and I'm back in the positive mindset <laughs> so I hope you have enjoyed the video so far I know I've waffled on a bit in this one um and yeah, so this week is maintain, and I'm still going to try and do intermittent fasting as well. So that's that. So I will come back to you with my tea and the calories. Hi guys, this is my tea. It is 597 calories. So I've got one of the Aldi Skinny Beef Quarter Pounders in the Duke of Brioche bun, some sweet potato fries, which is 88 grams cooked. Uh, 25 grams of Grecian flavour sauce, and I've got some of the Aldi's skin on crispy skin on fries as well, just some leftover ones from other than their dinner. So that's going to be my tea, and it's a grand total of 597 calories altogether. I've always had tea, it was delicious. Always had them Aldi burgers. So I've got a couple of afternoon, afternoon, uh, after dinner treats, and then that'll be it for me. Because it's half past five now. As you watch, as I'm recording it's half past five. So I've got a beer on stick, which is a mint one for 87. Uh, I've got one of these Audi Coca Peanut Butter Balls cereal bars. Um, they are part of the new range that they bought out. Don't know if they're permanent or not, but um, yeah, I picked up a couple of boxes on Friday when we were out. Um, and they're 107, they're actually really nice. So I'm going to have those and then that'll be that. So I am calling it now, I'll put the calories after this clip. And yeah, so feeling good, back in the room. And I'm really sorry that there was no content last week. But I'm um, going to be back on it now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up. If you've run into the channel, I hope you're welcome. 
detail at this point, but as I'm so close to hitting a thousand subscribers, and I'd love for you to stick around for lots of videos coming very soon. Take care.